Planet X is linked to periodic mass extinctions, study claims, Planet X Nibiru, according to a research published by faculty member of University of Arkansas, Department of Mathematical Sciences, Daniel Whitmire, periodic mass extinctions on Earth, as indicated in the global fossil record, could be linked to a suspected ninth planet. Whitmire's new research published in the issue of monthly advances of the Royal Astronomical Society of the UK says that as yet undiscovered Planet X triggers comet showers linked to mass extinctions on Earth at intervals of approximately 27 million years. Though scientists have long been looking for Planet X for 100 years, the possibility that it's real got a big boost recently when researchers from Caltech inferred its existence based on orbital anomalies seen in objects in the Kuiper Belt, a disc-shaped region of comets and other larger bodies beyond Neptune, and if the Caltech researchers are correct, Planet X is about 10 times the mass of Earth and could currently be up to a thousand times more distant from our Sun. Whitmire and his colleagues, John Matisse, first published research on the connection between Planet X and mass extinctions in the journal Nature back in 1985 while working as astrophysicists at the University of Louisiana Lafayette. Their work was featured in 1985 Time magazine cover story titled Did Comets Kill the Dinosaurs? A Bold New Theory About Mass Extinctions. At the time, there were three explanations proposed to explain the regular comet showers. Planet X, the existence of a sister star to our Sun, like a binary system of stars, the vertical oscillations of the Sun as it orbits the galaxy. The last two ideas have subsequently been ruled out as inconsistent with the paleontological record. Only Planet X remained as a viable theory and it's now gaining renewed attention. Whitmire and Matisse's theory is that as Planet X orbits the Sun, its tilted orbit slowly rotates and Planet X passes through the Kuiper belt of comets every 27 million years. And that means that it's knocking comets into the inner solar system. The dislodged comets only, not only smash into Earth, they also disintegrate in the inner solar system as they get nearer to the Sun, reducing the amount of sunlight that reaches our Earth, let alone smashing into other you know, there are other inner, uh, inner solar system planets, like, for example, Mars or our moon. In 1985, a look at the paleontological record supported the idea of regular comet showers dating back 250 million years. New research shows evidence of such events dating as far back as 500 million years. Whitmire and Matisse published their own estimates on the size and orbit of Planet X in their original study, they believed it would be better uh, between one and five times the mass of Earth and about a hundred times more distance from our Sun, much smaller numbers than Caltech's estimates. Matisse has since retired and no longer publishes. Whitmire retired from the University of Louisiana at Lafayette and began teaching at the University of Arkansas. Whitmire says what's really exciting is the possibility that a distant planet may have had a significant influence on the evolution of life on Earth. He said, I've been part of this story for 30 years. If there is ever a final answer, I'd love to write a book about it. Now, the abstract. The 27 million year period in the fossil extinction record has been confirmed in modern databases dating back 500 million years, which is twice the time interval of the original analysis from 30 years ago. The surprising regularity of this period has been used to reject the nemesis model. A second model based on the Sun's vertical galactic oscillations has been challenged on the basis of an inconsistency in period and phasing. The third astronomical model originally proposed to explain the periodicity is the Planet X model in which the period is associated with the perihelion precession of the inclined orbit of trans-Neptunian planet. Recently, and unrelated to mass extinctions, a trans-Neptunian super-Earth planet has been proposed to explain the observation on the inner Oort cloud subjects Sedna and 2012 VP113 have perihelia that lie near the ecliptic plane. 
In this letter, we, re we reconsider when the Planet X model in light of the confluence of the modern paleontological and outer solar system dynamical evidence. And the source is University of Arkansas. And this is by, uh, and this is on Bended Reality. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.